Hello to everyone and welcome back to another episode of Coaster of the Week. So in this week's episode, it's going to be back to normal because I hope you all enjoyed the last episode I did uh, last week, which involved me, like, you know, just uh, showing you all the different roller coaster POVs I've actually done uh, throughout the first half of the series. We're now in the second half of the series now and I'm hoping to do another video towards the end of the year, like some point in December with the second half of the actual series of Coaster of the Week. So, what coaster are we going to be talking about this week? It's a wooden themed coaster and this coaster is called the Plunge. Now, this coaster actually has quite a lot of good elements because this coaster has a few loops, but the reason it's called the Plunge is I've actually added tracks of water. So, when the coaster goes at high speed, it will go into a little drop full of water and then creating a really nice splash effect doing the ride so it also has a lot of bank turns as well you know just you know just smoothing the ride out a bit but yeah it really is a good coaster i've actually designed this week first of all before we get onto the pov let's quickly go through the full data and then we will be away so the max speed of this coaster is 44.36 miles per hour the average speed is 23.93 miles per hour the time it takes to get around the whole track is 1 minute and 9 seconds so not too bad for this week's coaster there are 16 drops on this coaster in total and there are two inversions so those two inversions are obviously the loops so full rating 100 at repos 100 that is really good that's definitely full up and it's absolutely going to be full and ride and the north here waiting 66 out of a possible 100 it's not really that great this week but however hopefully next week we'll have a really good roller coaster that will be less nauseous as this one so without further ado let's get straight on to this fantastic roller coaster POV of the evening So there you go then, that was this week's roller coaster POV, POV all done and dusted. I really, really enjoyed this coaster I actually created this week. I really like creating uh, wooden coasters that actually have some loops, and I also like to make it a little bit fun with some uh, tracks of water to make it a bit more fun and thrilling and a little bit funny as well, you know, just, you know, create like a really nice atmosphere and that. But yeah, this week's coaster wasn't too bad. Like I said, the nausea levels were a little bit too high for this coaster, but I did manage to smoothen it down because I, if I was to use like lots of big drops or any other wacky elements or any other twists and steep drops, then unfortunately then the coaster would even be worse. But yeah, it really is a really good little coaster I've done this week and I've really, really enjoyed it. Like I said, I really like the... Um, tracks of water because like I said this coaster is called the plunge but yet yeah, it's really really good because like I said I really like designing these coasters for all you people out there so there you go then that is literally it then for this week's episode of coaster of the week it's episode 31 now by the time uh, this next week uh, we're going to be reaching 32 episodes and that is going to be a record broken because last year I actually did only 31 episodes and by Episode 31 last year would have been the end of Series 3. But we're still going to be continuing. Join me next week for Episode 32 of Coast of the Week, which I'm going to be talking 
about another brand new roller coaster. Until then, I will see you next Thursday for another episode of Coaster of the Week. And yeah, take care. Bye for now. Thank you for watching Rampic Productions. Check out Rampic Productions on Facebook and Instagram for more updates on the channel. Click on the Rampic Productions icon to subscribe to the channel. Check out all the other videos that are in the end screen below.